all these fuckers be bluffing. We just throw a life with the right bitch. That's it. Live on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. We got the homie in here, man. I told y'all he was coming, man. It's long overdue, man. Let the streets know who you is, where you're from, and what you got coming, man. It's days and morning. <laughs> yeah, make on Texas, man. On this street grind, man. You gotta make it happen, man. I'm back. Took a little break from it, had to find me. I'm here now, man. Okay, why the break? You know what I'm saying? It is. You know, I, I was always into the music, you know what I'm saying? Loved it, you know what I'm saying? But life hit me, you know what I'm saying? Made a few choices, made a few decisions. Had to face that shit, and yeah, we back. Okay, well, so what brings you back? Like I say, it, it's what kept me moving, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Coming from where I'm from, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just too, too sweet. <laughs> right. So, you know what I'm saying? Life hit me, took me through a mad-ass roller coaster, you know, so. And that's just what it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Talk a bit about a little bit about where you from. I know the points where you from. We get a lot of people that rap from that from your section. But yeah. being yeah. that you sing and dance and an entertainer, talk about how you was able like to be different. Like you didn't go the rapping route or freestyle route. You went to the R and B side and shit like yeah. that. So, that gets so with you. <laughs> I mean, you know, what I'm saying? I, I grew up behind the uh, blue room. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. It was a lot of blues going on, you know what I'm saying? Favorite blues of, singer. Yeah, I was favorite blues. Singer. Ooh. Don't do me like that. That's how we do all the too streets, many, man. too many of them. Favorite R&B singer, then. Okay, I'm going to come back to that, though. Uh, the R&B, me. Okay. And I, and I say that not to be cocky, not to be, you know what I'm saying, a king, and then, but I'm trying to be a legend. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I speak so thoroughly like that because... I know I'm gonna be one. Okay. I got the talent to back it up and the drive to back it up. So what make you different then? You got the talent, everybody got talent. Everybody got talent. But like I said, the drive, the dedication, the determination, you know what I'm saying? The will. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you right, it's one thing to have uh I guess a want to or a love for something, but it's another thing to put that love into action and make that happen. And okay. If you if you love something so passionately, you're gonna go get it no matter what. And okay. It kept me from actually doing a lot of shit that would have, you know what I'm saying, landed me somewhere where, you know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> let me ask you this. If Pim C was alive today, what we you say about today's Texas uh, rap game? Oh, right now, he, he'll be proud of us. Okay. He'll be proud of us. What you too. think? Yeah, he'll be proud, because it ain't, it ain't too much gay shit going on mm. right now. <laughs> you know, it's a new wave, it's a new quarter, and, you know, everybody doing different shit right now. Would he approve of what's going on in Texas right now? Uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's in Texas, but I know it's Houston. Okay. So I'm, I'm speaking on Houston. Shit, we standing on that. Mm. I appreciate that, man. PMC would be proud of us, man. Name the top three things you got to have when you're recording in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> Talent. Okay. Patience. And a ear. Mm. Ear, talent, and patience. So when you're in the studio, what's the hardest process about recording? Mess, like make it, it's, it's a few different things, you know what I'm saying, depending on what situation you're in. Okay. You know what I mean, you gotta have like you gotta have the capital to get in a quality spot to make sure that you got that sound. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's you can you can come up off you know what I'm saying off of in house type stuff or you know at the house you can make a uh, you can make a hit you know what I'm saying off of that shit but you you gotta have the right shit to make a classic. Okay, is it hard to get support where you from? Yeah. Why? Yeah, no. yeah and no. Okay, two point answer. Why the two point answer? Cause uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak on the no first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't really. If you ain't really trying to make something happen for yourself, you know what I'm saying? People like it ain't. It, it's it's like a heart, like it's like hardness, but at the same time, you got people that they see you, you know what I'm saying? Got something going for yourself, and you going to go get it yourself. They uh, they you know what I'm saying? Pick you up. Okay. But if you ain't really doing you ain't nothing, really just rocking for you, and you looking sad and looking for a hand out, and no, don't pass you by. All right, talk about the latest project that you, <laughs> that you got coming. Thuggy Soul Child. That's, man. Oh, and why the name? <clears throat> like I said, where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't home, man. I ain't 
ain't say it's the baddest place, but it ain't, it ain't the best. You know? Okay, where you from? So you calling the thug your soul child and the project's coming. Do you think the industry, like, see if you, when you continue going until you think they approve of like that R&B sound being like a bad boy thuggish type vibe, or would you try to tone it down so you can conform to, you know, what they say? Who, like, say I'm my bad, I'm high. I'm, I'm listening, but you, <laughs> what's it? Like, say, say you dug your soul child, but with the industry, you an R&B singer. They want you to tone it down a little bit. The bad boy image, they don't want that as much. But see, I ain't even got the bad boy image. Okay, but when they hear, <laughs> but when they, what, they what? Look at it that way. Not even look at it, when they hear thug, you oh, know what they think. Well, the title, I mean. I, I'm just saying, I would you ever tone that. it down, like, fuck it, I'm going to take the thuggish out there and just be soul child and shit like that? Or will you just keep stay true to who you are is basically what I'm saying? I'm me. Okay. It's like, it's like mom, like the pain in the music. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm a painter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Picasso name Picasso. I don't know what Picasso stands for. Right. I understand, <laughs> I understand Picasso that. Picasso meant thug. Thug is so child off. It represented where he was from. Okay. Would you sign or stay independent? Independent. <laughs> Why independent? <laughs> the right amount right now, 2.7, 2.8 million. On the table, the right amount. You wouldn't take it, you'll stay all the way independent. Shout out Nip Jones. Shout out Nip, RP Nip one time. Hey man, if they can pay me that much, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to buy what I possess, what am I worth? Exactly. But what if you don't get that, sh like that shot again? Like that money coming back around, are you worried about it? The money comes to you. Would you be worried about it? Nah, because I know it's going to come back. Okay. The money comes But the, do y'all, we do get a lot of artists in the game that, you know, they do their hit, they get their bag, and then we don't hear from nah, them no more either. It's different because yeah. that's a one-hit wonder. Uh-uh. That's when the game changed right now. Yeah. You know, they don't really, they not giving out too much money right now as yeah. far as, you know. But all these artists promote money. Huh? All they do is promote money and things like that now. Yeah, but Big bag, bro. Them. Yeah. They don't really have that money. But everybody claim they're independent, too. Yeah, and then what you find out at the end of the day, niggas decide. That's that's crazy, man. So, so you keeping it all the way independent, right? Yeah, got to. Got to. Okay, dream collab out there, Ooh, can I do both? Yeah, about. Can I do a few? Two. <laughs> Damn. Dead or alive. But nah, man. Since I'm cooked, dead. Okay. Oh, that's a double. Alive. Miguel. Oh, I'm a Miguel, that's different. Man, he a thuggy soul child too. Okay, but did you see he had to kind of tone it down just a little bit, cause you know he was. Then you see what happened. Yeah, he still got his fan he base. Got his fan base, but he's he's him. He's, mm -hmm. he's still him. I've been listening. He actually to me, I've listened to a few of his latest ones, and he actually toned it like he's back to the just raw. Him, you know what I'm saying, like that expression. Gotcha. That that I that I that's what I like about him. Gotcha. Let me ask you this: Is there room still in the industry for R&B music? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's a lot of music. Man, it's always a lot of room. Is it dominating like as it what it used to be like in uh, the 80s, 90s? It's about to be. We're gonna bring it back. It's about to be. What you mean? It's about to be. How do you feel a void with with my music? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, well, I'm telling you, Cole. For the young and the old. Guy, okay. I'm talking about it. And I'm bringing it back. Yeah, okay. Man. They ready for it. We need that. Why did it leave? Why do you think it left? Let me ask you that. People wasn't them. People stopped trying to be themselves. People. People stopped trying to express themselves. Like people tried to start conforming to what they thought was masculinity and this and that. That's, it it mm. almost caught me. Like mm. for real. Like, I got kicked out of out of uh, what you call the class in school for telling the teacher that singing for bitches. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I would have took my. But the singers ass, get all the bitches. You hear me? Mm -hmm. When I found that. Shh. It they, was around. Take it all away. Shout out to all the yeah, ladies that used to move me out of class <laughs> and singing and stuff like that. Y'all motivated me. Okay, he said. <laughs> so you kind of damn near went the wrong route as far as left it alone? Like, with the singing? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Like, 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 remember when we were speaking earlier about the. Um, the artists that don't make money off of it, mm. you know, they don't have the capital to put into it. Mm. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? And then, like, it gets that, stressful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's real yeah. stressful. Okay. Because, like, it's you gotta weigh it out. You gotta balance it out. Like, How do you find that lane? Because you think fun. about, uh, I'm gonna say, Bryson Tiller. How do he get back to where he was? I guess just keep going. Like, okay. he, he got, I don't know, because like, I haven't really, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's been a while since I just listened to a lot of. 
But you remember that big peak when he had though, when he, he came out and then he had that way for a while and then it's like, okay, well, you know, we was waiting on the next Bryce Attila album or the next and then it kind of faded out. Did he sign Same way with. Did he huh? Was he an independent artist? He signed? Mm. He, was, he had to be signed to a regular like mm. All of that is a can of phone. Mm. So that's the way it all fall back to when you ask that question. Mm. You signed with a. Uh, major yeah. record label, or would you rather say independent? Gotcha, gotcha. And I can okay. my music whenever I want to. Why sign with you and you got you make the weight on it? Okay, that makes sense. But let me ask you that. That's a good reason, but you don't think the rapper kind of rappers kind of oversaturated with the singing? They started singing too, cause back then it was only you know the big moles and mm -hmm. certain ones that was doing it. But now everybody's singing and rapping. You get what I'm saying? So you don't think the rappers kind of stole that R&B swag? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Hey, say, well, guess what? Ain't nothing new under the sun. Facts. Facts. But it's everybody do it now. Like, every rapper yeah. sings. And they really can't sing, but they do it and make yeah, money. I'm <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So is it still room for that R&B journey if the rapper can uh, lullaby? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm, I am the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, I'm the room. Anybody in the city you looking forward to collabing with or you done already collabing with? Yeah, it's it's really gonna ride. Uh, Lane. Okay, shout out Lane. Yeah, Tiz. Okay. I'm trying to see who is Bloodbath. Okay. <laughs> so you got a Same few in the works. Every day. So you been networking, doing your thing and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Any advice for the upcoming singers in Houston that you could get them, being that you been doing it for a while and you came back around and you going harder than ever? Any advice that you get the streets? Y'all, uh, y'all really love something, man. Go get it. Like, don't, don't sleep on yourself. Like, you don't worry about what nobody else gonna give you, or worry about what, what nobody say about you. If you love something, I don't care what it is, cause it's more than everybody creative. Everybody here for a reason. Everybody here for a purpose. So gotcha. You live into that, man. You, if you love that, that's your purpose. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is. That's what you love. That's what you got your eyes set on doing. Like, go get that. You know, so I be like, it's like, I be mentoring kids since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had to mature faster. What was the first song you ever wrote? Do you remember? Yeah. What was it? I was like, the first, I can't say first song I ever wrote, but the first R&B song. Like, yeah, what? I was called, um, Reality. Mm. I never released it yet. But on this, on my project after this, yeah, it got around. <laughs> With your music, where do your roots come from? Is is it just R and B? Is it jazz? Is it a little bit hip hop, gospel, anything like that? Or is it just strictly poetry? Uh, I I started doing poetry. You know, okay. As a kid, like what 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 like what, what took that love for poetry? What took it? Like what made you get into poetry? I was five or six years old. I used to just hear like I hear stuff like classic stuff all the time. So my wordplay was always you know what I'm saying live. You know what right. What I'm saying? So. I was always trying to like do like reels and shit like that shit caught my attention puzzles you know what I'm saying like different different like weird shit caught my attention. And okay. So I just used to like do stuff about where I was coming up at you know what I'm saying I wrote about where I was from what I used to see everything you know what I'm saying like the good the bad the ugly you know what I'm saying. Gotcha. Everything and I just used to formulate that. Do you have a fa where you from? Do you have like a favorite person that you looked up to out here or just you was going as you know? Person that I looked up to. Yeah, like dad, brother, somebody in the my streets, baby. anybody? My baby. Okay. Yeah, she she was she was the one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that the a lot of inspiration behind the music? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dope, dope, dope. Man, let the streets know where they can find everything, the whole brand, man, and let let them know what else you got coming this year, man. Okay, well yes, I got coming this year. Uh I just finally started launching this uh 31 Legacy about my grandmother, you know what I'm saying? She born in 1931, R.I.P. Ruby. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, nah, I don't, no more R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? You live through me, you know what I'm saying? That's what 31 Legacy is. All the, you know what I'm saying, stuff she did for our family. She raised like five generations by herself, you know what I'm saying? Like she kept us all together. And, you know what I'm saying, taught us how to be men when we was, you know what I'm saying, toddlers. She right. raised us to be, you know what I'm saying, to take care of our business. You know what I'm saying? She raised women to be women. You know what I'm saying? She let us know about the real world. You know what I'm saying? And, and taught us how to go get it at all costs. I feel that, man. 
All right, like you said, shout out to her, man. Let her live on through you and through your music, man. Last one before we get out of here, man. If you if you could pick your Mount Rushmore of R and B, what top four would be on there? R and B top four. I would. I mean, Jared Burke. Okay. Jared Burke. Uh, Jay Z. Uh, Jay Z. Uh, Jay Z. Uh, Jay -Z. Uh, Jay -Z. Chris Brown. <laughs> Two more. It's gonna be R. Kelly. Okay. Be by you still through. rocking with R. Kelly even after all the. I ain't rocking with what he's going through because I don't really know what he. I'm not. I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I. You know so are saying? you muting him? I ain't muting him. That man. I don't see nothing wrong. <laughs> he classic. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's. <laughs> Like, you I, the dude you get out like of love. You know right. what I'm saying? I don't I can't judge that man for what he got going on. Okay, I feel that. You know what Remember what respect I can't for judge that. Him, but everybody else cashing them out. Y'all got y'all own flow, they got their own flow. I got mine, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. The song the music is there. You don't can't listen to it. Right. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. What's your last one? You got Kelly, Chris Breezy, Jerry Levert, and you got one more. Me. Okay, shit, and that's what it is. See, that's how you end it. I like that confidence, man. Don't put nobody else. Man, let the streets know where they can hit you on your IG, your FB, your Twitter, your YouTube, and everything. One more time before we get out this thing. It's Deja Mare. You can find me on IG at Deja Mare dot Rise, R I Z E. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, the same thing. Deja Mare, Rise. You know what I'm saying? We're rising. And we out on the back streets with your girl code.